Hey folks, this is Max. Welcome to another no code video. Now, some of you might have heard that I've joined Okta a few weeks ago to help with advocacy and community for Okta workflows. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how to build your very first workflow. And the example will be um, Hello World uh, using workflows. Now, I'm going to have a lot more videos coming up and also blog posts, but quickly, um, Okta Workflows is an automation platform um, with a big focus on identity. <clears throat> so, for example, you can, um, using no code and visual approach, you can build flows to create users, to onboard uh, users, for example, provision, deprovision, and a lot, a lot more. Uh, and it's all done visually without any code. No, and again, I'm going to have a lot more videos uh, very soon. Now, in this video, this is the Hello World video again, and we're going to build this flow. So every step here represents, well, every, this is called a card. So every card represents a step in the flow. Um, and so this is the first one, this is the second, third, and so on. Um, and again, you build it visually. Another way I like to look at it, and again, this is if you have more coming from you know, a coder or developer background is that these are, this is a kind of a serverless flow where each step or each card represents um, kind of a small serverless function. And then you connect each function um, to the next one and you pass data between those uh, functions. So, I mean, that's another way to look at it. Um, uh, but in workflow, so this is a card, um, and so this is another card um, and that's how you build uh, you build the flow and then of course it's executed from left uh, left to right all right so let's actually build this so let me go back here and let's click new flow and let's give this a name now i'm going to click this option because this will allow me to test uh, the flow uh, actually, you want me to see how the data flows from card to card when testing. So let's click save here. All right. Now, the first thing is with uh, almost any automation is when to actually call this automation or when to invoke it. And so in our case, we want this to be uh, a schedule. So, you know, run it every, you know, here every 15 minutes, I think for just because this is a just a simple uh, flow, we're going to set it to fifteen. I'm sorry, five minutes. Uh, and again, you can see you can you can customize this. So there are a lot of different options. Let's click save. All right. Now the the actual flow that we're going to build, as I said, it's going to be hello world. So to keep it simple, we're going to create the message uh, with time and then send it to a Slack channel, right? And this will be done every five minutes. So the first step would be to get a card, which gives us the current time. And then we would um, actually click here, add function. Now the difference here, add app action, this is usually a connection to another service. Uh, for example, you know, Google Sheets or, or Gmail or Airtable, or there are a lot of other connectors. Let's see actually here. You can see there are a lot of other connectors that you can use. Now, a function is usually where you take data and you manipulate the data. Um, or you can do, for example, if then. Um, so we want, in our case, we want to find date and time. And then we want to get now. All right, so we get a now card. So this card, this little function uh, or serverless function returns the current uh, time. Now, what's also very cool is that you can test each card. So most cards have a little um, uh, run icon here, button, and now if we test this, let's click test, and then we get the current time. Now this particular card doesn't have any inputs, but many cards do, uh, all right? So this is, let's close this. Now, once we get the time, let's create a small uh, text message. And for that, I'm gonna click on function again, and I'm gonna use compose. And this allows me to just write some text. So I'll say, hello from workflows. So this 
uh, let's say this message was printed, we'll say printed on. Now, and now we want to insert the time. So this is really, really powerful. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take uh, the any one of the outputs from any card, not just the previous one, and drag and drop it like this. And so this creates a mapping. So when this card runs, it will take data from the previous card, right? So this is really, really powerful. Um, all right, now we can also test this. Um, you know, we don't have, we can just enter any simple time. For example, this is, uh, you can say Wednesday, um, this is fine. And then click test. And then we can see this message was printed on Wednesday. Of course, you know, once it runs, we'll see the actual time. Now, the last step uh, or card is to send a message to, um, to a Slack channel. Now here, I'm actually going to use a, uh, an app action again, because this is worth connecting to another service. Uh, and then right here, Slack. And you can see there are a lot of different um, sort of actions we can take. The one we want is send message to a channel. Now, I already have a connection, uh, but of course you need to connect to a Slack. So I already have a connection to a Slack. Uh, you can create a new one and you can have multiple connections. So those will be different Slack accounts. Um, but this is the same thing as you, you're basically giving access to workflows to access Slack. So um, I'm sure you've seen those when you log in with like with Google or, or Facebook or any similar. So it's a similar process here. But again, I already have an existing one. Let's click save. Now, I do need to specify to which channel to send. So I have this channel specifically for testing. Um, and then I'm going to send plain text. All right. And save. Now, it requires a text, right? What's the actual message that I'm going to send? So I'm going to go back to the previous card, which is Compose. And this is the output. I'm going to take the output and drag and drop it like this again. Oh, let me do this again. Let me try this. And here we go. All right. Um, so now we can see all the how the data uh, kind of uh, maps from card to card. Um, and that's it. Now let's save. All right. And now we can test this. And notice how we see data uh, populated in each card. So if you remember when we named the uh, the flow, uh, there was a checkbox. So that checkbox allows to do that. So we can see how data basically maps from card to card. And right here, this is the success. So if I have multiple runs, we will be able to see, we could be able to click on each run and see the data that was, um, that was sort of passed um, from each card. Now, this is the, uh, the message that was sent to Slack. So now let's see, uh, this is my Slack. And right here, hello from workflows, this message was printed on, all right? Now we can format this date, uh, but we're not gonna do it. So we can see it was just sent again. Um, if I go back, and the reason is because it automatically enabled the flow. And you can see um, it was printed just about 25 seconds ago, right? And then it shows the counter when it's going to run uh, next again, okay? So we kind of locked out because it um, it ran again. And we can see that there is the first one, this is the test one. And if I go here, this is the, the one that was scheduled, right? So this is really powerful because you can view each successful run, I mean, you know, if you have any errors, um, you would see those runs here and, you know, uh, an error message indicating uh, what happened. Um, all right. But um, that's it. I'm actually going to stop this one. And I'm going to go back to the flow. But um, that's all I wanted to show you. Again, it's a, it's a rather simple flow. Um, but I think it's a perfect example for, for Hello World. Um, and 
it just sort of shows you the the, the potential um, of this of this platform. Um, so you can kind of visually, uh, you know, build and and develop uh, a lot of really powerful functionality. Again, with a big emphasis on identity. Um, so, and again, that's something I'll be showing in um, in future videos. So, uh, thanks for watching.